Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and Kamala Harris made a career out of prosecuting black men, and now it's coming back to bite her. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you are not watching us on YouTube, look over there. You see there in the bottom right-hand corner? It says youtube.com forward slash at Explain America. Don't forget the ad symbol. Type that into your browser. Go to our page. Give us a subscription. Totally free, and it really helps us keep bringing you the pro-Trump news. Guys, listen. Everybody knows by now Kamala Harris was a tough-as-nails prosecutor. In fact, she was so tough, she prosecuted people over simple marijuana possession. It's crazy stuff, right? Well, in the case of this one man, his name is Jamal Trulove. He's now an actor... He's a celebrity now, but he wasn't at the time he was prosecuted by Kamala Harris's office. And Kamala Harris actually showed up the day he got sentenced to life in prison for ending the life of somebody else. And just one problem. He didn't do it. An innocent man was sent to prison for life. Now, years later, that got overturned and he was freed and justice was done. But he was put behind bars for life for a crime he didn't commit by Kamala Harris's office, and she was there on the day he got sentenced. Maybe to apply pressure, I don't know. Maybe to just to celebrate the fact that she got a life sentence for this innocent man. And now, he's telling his story. I want you to hear it. It's a very short clip. And then I want you to let me know what you think in the comments. The District Attorney of San Francisco, Kamala Harris, appeared in the courtroom during your trial twice. Yeah, the two times that Kamala Harris um, sh showed up to my trial was the when I got convicted and also when they laid down the sentencing. When you saw her on the day that the verdict was handed down, did you take that as a bad sign? It, it felt to me that she was well aware about my case and she was there to set her presence, almost take pride in getting a conviction. When I put in my appeal, the people that's fighting against my appeal to keep the conviction is the attorney general office. I learned it reading, you know, their, their reply to my uh, appeal, and you see Kamala Harris' name at the bottom. And now it, it's starting to feel a little personal when you win the $13.1 million, it's a massive settlement. And did you feel like that was enough? There's not an amount that could get back those seven years. That uh, was well, six and a half years that I sp spent in prison. But instead of me coming home feeling like I was a victim, I wanted to prove that, I was, that I'm a survivor. And I will not let my story go unheard. You know, I'm not necessarily saying I'm looking for an apology. But some acknowledgement from her that she could have messed up will be, of course, that'd be huge. You could have made some mistakes. You could have missed some things. For me, it was a big miss. You know, I had life in prison.